Hi! So today we're doing unboxing of the AirPod Pro. Okay, so we have the instructions. I wonder if this comes with a sticker. No, I didn't. It doesn't come with the air sticker. The Apple sticker. Okay. So um, with the actual product, uh, it comes in a plastic wrapping like this. And let's see what else it comes with. Okay. So we have the an additional buds four buds um, it looks like a small and a, and a large plastic bud and a charging cable yep this is the usb type c and lightning cable let's open this baby up Oh, it looks like the um, the original AirPods, except that instead of opening from the top, it's opening from the side. Okay. So inside the AirPods, it looks like that. It's a little bit shorter than the original. Um, the ear insert itself is a little bit bigger. So the features of the AirPod Pro is that it has a touch center on each side of the arm and you can actually control your AirPods uh, through, through this controller. Uh, so the first one, if you tap it one time, if you actually listen, you can hear a, a tap. Uh, if you have this in your ear, you'll hear the tap. Uh, one tap means it's to play or pause your audio. If you tap twice, you can skip forward to um, your song. If you you can if you can tap three times to go back, you can also use it as to control a Siri to control the volume up or down. There's also another feature if um, you're on a call, you can just hold it and you'll be able to switch in between your calls. That's a nifty, really nifty feature, so you don't really have to pull up your, your device and switch in between. You can control all the audio-related functions. Of. So let's set up my AirPods Pro to my iPad. So the iPad I have is the older generation, so as soon as I open it, nothing happened. On the newer generation iPads and uh, Apple devices, as soon as you open it up, it's all next to the, the if, as soon as you open up the uh, AirPods Pro next to your device, it automatically connects. Um, I, would, I tried it with my iPad Pro and then uh, it was so seamless. Like literally, I just open it up and click connect and that was it. So for my older devices, it's a little bit more um, it's just two extra stuff maybe, so I go to my settings, I turn on Bluetooth, and I try to find it. Well, it's not picking it up, so let's open it up, the AirPods next to my device, and click on the button at the back. You hold it until it starts to blink. Yep, there it is. Uh, let's check for the updates first okay there it is you tap on it and 
that's it. We're done. So let's try setting up the AirPods Pro to an Android device. I have the Samsung S10 Plus here. Uh, let's see. So you go to your settings, your then your Bluetooth. You open it up and see if it finds it. It doesn't find it. So what you do is you open it up next to your device and you hold down the button at the back here until it starts to blink white. Do you see that? Okay, it's blinking white. Let's try scanning. Okay, it showed up. Click on it. And then it's asking you to pair with AirPods Pro. You click OK. It's pairing. And there you have it. It's connected for calls on audio.